back, Sharif in Independence, Missouri. Hey, Sharif, thanks for watching us on Free Speech TV. What's on your mind? How are you doing? I'm well. What's up? Well, Tom, am I saying you your know, name right? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, great. I was I was angry with you uh, a couple weeks ago when uh, he started talking about uh, this uh, imposing tariffs and this, that, and the other, and I was naive and not uh, informed, and uh, I didn't turn you off. I continued to listen, and the more I continued to listen to you, and the more you had people come on, and then the more I started listening and paying attention, I, I was like, oh, okay, well, oh, now I'm there. I, I understand what he's saying. And then the teachers went out on strike. And so I'm looking at all these teachers and thousands and thousands of them, and and uh, I'm looking at them, and I'm, I'm like, okay, those teachers used to used to be under an umbrella of a union, and the teachers were. Sharif, your phone just faded out. Uh, can you repeat your last sentence? Uh, you may need to go stand by a window or something because you've just completely vanished. She's gone. Oh, I'm sorry. Sharif, uh, call us back. We'll, we'll try to continue or finish the conversation. Rick in Western West Virginia. Hey, Rick, what's up? Hey, how are you doing, Tom? Uh, Smedley yeah. Butler, I've, I've read some of his uh, autobiographical stuff. I believe he won. Yeah, War is a Racket is his main book. It's brilliant. Right, yeah, right. But I believe he won the Medal of Honor as well. Uh, yes, he did. Was going, he was the most decorated was, Marine in the history of the United States at the time that he, uh, that he wrote that book. Uh, yeah, he did get the Medal of Honor, if memory serves me yep. correct. What I'm saying is, it seems to me that, now I'm an well, a amateur student of history. It's interested me since elementary school. And it seems to me society as a whole, the world as a whole, is, just keeps on repeating the same mistakes and not really learning any lessons. I heard somebody talk earlier about it's time to stand up and resist. I agree totally. I was born in 1954. I had to go register for the draft. I remember summer 72 very well. I remember the public sentiment. War is a racket. And these, uh, this idea of unrestrained capitalism, it, uh, it uh, appeals to some people's base, baser instincts. You have mm. to have some kind of I'm not talking religion or anything like that. I'm talking basic human dignity and morality. When people are ready to trade blood and bodies for profit, there's something wrong. I watched one night late about the world population consuming the world's resources is seven and a half times the rate that this planet can provide. My question is to you, how long can we continue on at this rate without finally just, as I believe Stephen Hawkins said, uh, we, reach, we reach the tipping point and there is no return. I mean, yeah. how long? Rick, we're already all, there. All great empires. Rick, forget, forget, forget my interruption, but we're hitting the break here. We're already there. You're seeing resource wars. That's what the war in Syria is, is a resource war. Global warming pushed the desert 100 miles south in Syria and wiped out a million farmers. And, that, and they went into Damascus, and that's what's going on.